finally made it. The Gamo Swarm Fox unboxing. Let's see what we have inside. Comes with the scope. Decently wrapped. Closer look at the scope, taking the turrets off. You can see that it's the, uh, the coin operated type scope turret. Um, it is just a duplex across here. Interesting baffle design. I am a fan of the stock. The stock is very attractive. This one really draws me in on this on this particular. The Whisper has this type of style of stock, and it's just so sexy with that skeletonized look. It does have just a tad bit of play. You have your pellet uh, magazine, I guess, and it's all it has has edges on it, so that you get it the right way. Just load it in easy it's the quality control so apparently it's supposed to have that that little bit of play in the the magazine receiver this is my first swarm uh, I think all the swarm models have the uh, have this this magazine on them gamo swarm fox Oh, stay tuned. Okay, first pellet test. We're going to be doing the Crossman Premier 14.3 round nose versus the Gamo uh, Country. Uh, I'll show a picture after the shots. Okay, now we'll be shooting uh, JSB Express versus H&N Field Trophy. These are three inch targets. the grouping with the Crossman Premiers and the Gamo Hunters and then you'll see we have the uh, what are these the Jumbo Express with the the field target both extremely good groups now this is this is my Gamo Swarm Fox I don't know if they're all come like this. This is an absolute tack driver at 10 yards. For an air gunner on a small budget, this is definitely the way to go. So the light rifle, aesthetically, she looks awesome. The, the 10 round rotary magazine is, uh, takes a one second to get used to how to load it. But after you figure that out, it's just a breeze with, with cocking. It's a really light cocking effort. Yeah, this is just at 10 yards. And you can see, you see these groups at 10 yards. The unboxing, the 10 yard range. Yeah, what more could you ask for? And now that I have her zeroed in, I'm excited to take her out see what she can do just pulled up to the range let's go have some fun gamo swarm fox 0.3 <laughs> 
.22. Start at 25 yards. Okay, we're gonna be uh, attempting to shoot at 25 yards with three different gamo pellets on the target set up over here. And I'm gonna get everything focused. Next we're going to be shooting up at the top right. Um, I am shooting prone down here. I'm not on arrest or anything. Okay, now we'll be uh, shooting at the bottom right, still in a prone position. I don't know, somewhere my battery died. I didn't move the camera, but that is the third, third grouping. I have to check the footage to see how much of it it got. Camo Swarm Fox. Can't say too much bad about the scope. Um, it gives good quality vision. Um, you do have to twist it to focus on on your particular eye strength. Can't really say anything bad about the trigger. Uh, the gun does not vibrate much when you shoot it. Overall, a solid rifle. If you want an aftermarket scope, you could get one. Um, the benefits of an aftermarket scope would be one with range finding capabilities, uh, mill dots or, or some type of ballistic compensator. Be nice for a pellet gun being that the pellets do drop relatively fast. All in all, this is an excellent rifle. Please share, like, and subscribe. If you haven't already thank you for, for for spending so much time on this particular video I am gonna put the box out at 50 yards and see what kind of groups we can get with the with the Magnum it was the best grouping we had with this so far so okay we're out here at 50 yards I've got this snowman kind of set up I'm gonna aim at the top small circle and see uh, what the what, what the bullet drop is or the pellet drop is on here and we're still gonna be shooting from the prone position from from the towel I don't know if you can see that it's kind of getting shady over there lucky me shooting from 50 yards prone at this target right here I'm gonna shoot 10 rounds, 